Hello everybody, welcome back to another Pixel World's Unpopular Opinions video. This is the series where I take your unpopular opinions about the game, and I talk about them, and I give my take on them. So, let's get right into it. Alright, our first unpopular opinion comes from Potato Warrior. He says, the last updates are all useless. So, again, I'm gonna assume that he's talking about the Easter update, the Clan Wars update, and I sort of do have to agree. Now, these updates, while they weren't the, the best updates, I do think that they will recover. Um, it, it'll all make sense maybe when pets come out, because I've been seeing all these teasers about pets. It looks like an, a very, very, very uh, deep update. Like, there's a lot of content to be had and a lot of interesting uh, ways people can use pets. And I, I, I genuinely think that even though the last updates are useless, it's going to be worth it. That's what I genuinely believe. All right, our next unpopular opinion is by Rain124. He says, Pixel Worlds should add two-factor verification so that players feel more safe. I think that this is a really good idea. Um, Pixel Worlds, it's so heavily bent on, like, the, the enemy of the game is being scammed. The enemy of the game is scammers, hackers, bullies, right? So... In this sense, two-factor verification is such a big deal. So many accounts get hacked. Even rich players' accounts get hacked. So I think that two-factor verification would be so, so, such a big deal to this genre specifically. That is such a big deal. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. Alright guys, our next unpopular opinion comes from Marcosius. He says, Scammers should be given harsher penalties, such as longer ban times. Now, I think that the first penalty should be low. It legitimately should be low. But if they do have more than one penalty, I think ban times should be pretty long. It, it just makes sense. You know, if, if you're going to do something once and not learn from it, then you deserve to be punished, you know? So I guess that's about it. I, I kind of agree with this one, but at the end of the day, I, I think that... The, the ban times currently are actually pretty fair. I, I don't know how else they would change it. Okay, Shavitz underscore 66 says, I think farming in nether should be buffed, especially farming since fishing gives way more gems. So I think this is actually really, really important. Fishing should not be the predominant uh, thing because it is so easy, right? All you do is stare intensely at a screen and wait to press punch, right? That's it. In Nether, it takes skill. You have to be on your on your toes at all times. You have to make sure you don't die. Farming, it's it's such a grind. There's no luck-based system. It's very rare for you to get anything other than, you know, just... For example, you're farming BBB. You're just going to get BBB, and it's going to take hours and hours of dedicated time to actually um, uh, get gems from the system. And I think that fishing is the easiest way. The easiest should not be the most profitable. It just doesn't logically make sense. And it would be cool if somehow they ba rebalanced gems in this new update because of a new gem way getting released. But you know what? I, th I think this is definitely true. It, it really speaks to the opinion of the community, I believe. Okay, K just says, secret base is actually a good way to get rich. Now, I, this is actually a really interesting take. A lot of people say secret base isn't worth it. It's it's not f any fun or anything. But this is an interesting take because if you do grind enough, uh, blue particles aren't that expensive. And if you just keep grinding and keep grinding, you know, those legendaries, those are 20 world locks a pop. And if you can get one to two every secret base event, hey, that's some profit right in your pocket. So... Uh, yeah, I, th I think this is definitely true. I mean, Secret Base has always been super um, profitable, especially when all of the first Secret Base sets were released. Alright guys, Desolate says your age in PW doesn't make you pro. All you have to do is just play the game and not get bored. Getting levels and wolves, t sorry, world locks, takes skill, whereas playing for a while doesn't take any. I think this is really important to, th to realize. A lot of people, like, worship beta players. You know, people who have uh, 1,300 to 1,400 days on their account. I don't think this is this should necessarily be the case. If someone grinded and they only have 70 days, that speaks to their skill a lot more than just playing the game when it first released. 
I genuinely, if you have a lot of world locks, but you haven't been playing very long, props to you because that is just great. That is great. I don't personally have a lot of world locks. I, uh, but by the time of this recording, I have zero world locks in my inventory and that's not a joke. Yeah. You know, skill, it's skill. It's not time. All right, Devs has quite a controversial opinion, and I do want to preface this by saying that he actually likes to break the rules on his uh, on his videos sometimes, you know, really skim the edge of what we can do in the, in the game in terms of uh, the rules. And he says, Popular YouTubers seem to get away with breaking the rules with little to no consequences or can avoid it on a new account to evade a punishment. Now, frankly, I think that YouTubers uh, should get a pass. Now... You might think I sound like an, a, a jerk by saying that, but here's the thing. You know, YouTubers can inspire, they can help. You know, the average player who gets a ban, they're not helping, they're just trying to profit for themselves. YouTubers can try to reach out, they can make helpful videos, you know, uh, help someone out in tough time, per perhaps, you know, something like that. And uh, at least if, if they do get unbanned, if they do make more content, then at least that's a bonus for the game, you know? Um, but I do think it is unfair. There, sh there shouldn't be a double standard f uh, in terms of YouTubers and players at any point anyway, you know? Uh, if, if someone is scamming uh, and they're just a normal player and the other person's scamming and it's a YouTuber, the YouTuber shouldn't just get off uh, a free pass because, you know, he's favored by, I don't know, developers or mods or, or maybe, uh, you know, people are rooting for him and they just don't want to get bad... PR and uh, in lack of a better word and I think that just in in totality there shouldn't be a double standard but also you have to think about the fact that they are helping the community grow so that's about it okay Valky PW says dating in PW is cringe and unhealthy level I think that uh, role playing can add a, another fun aspect but I think when they get too serious, it does become sort of a, uh, you know, it, it's a bit problematic. I, I, if you've ever been in Grotopia, there's this world named Love. That can get problematic pretty quick, I'm not going to lie. And uh, if, as long as you just keep it as, as a role player or, 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 you know, you know some, some bit or something, you know, eh, well, you get, I don't care, you know. But if, if they make it, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. So it's kind of cringe. Yeah, it's kind of cringe. Okay, so I want to preface this one by saying a lot of people say the Bitcoin vendor is useless because we're already trading Bitcoins for world locks anyway. But Gargoyle PW says the Bitcoin vendor in Pixel Station has a use by stopping hyper deflation. I think this is so true. I mean, to be fair, it's I, I don't remember what the exchange rate on the vendor is because, you know, who uses it, right? But uh, it's like 210 or something. It's so low. And uh, I think the actual rate right now is like 370, 380. But the issue is bike coins are, are significantly dropping because they are constantly be pump, being pumped into the game from quests, achievements, and all this stuff. So they're deflating super fast. But at least in the future, when we are having an extremely high rate of bike coins in the game, you can still get bite coins for 210 just by straight up buying it from an NPC. I think that's really important. Okay, Warlock7275 says, Nether boss is too hard to find slash kill. I totally agree. This is so relatable. I one time spent about 50, 55 Netherworld games and I you wasted so many scrolls. I spent an entire day just trying to find the Nether boss. I did not find him once i went through 55 scrolls and didn't find them once when you make an achievement that's solely based on luck it is so frustrating because 90 percent of the achievements are based on grinding yes you need to grind by spending a bunch of time but i hate how you know defeating this boss this achievement it's not even based on on winning a fight or being skilled at a fight it's based on getting lucky um, f with finding the boss in the first place. It just it doesn't make any sense. Why do we have to spend 100 Netherworld games in one day uh, to find the boss? 
and there's a potential of not even killing him. I get that it's it's an achievement and it's supposed to be something that you should feel proud of, but at the end of the day, if no one is given the chance to achieve that, it's just not fair. But, you know, I don't know. Okay, the final opinion is the admins view us solely as customers and not by as their players, and this is uh, Prapa that said this. So I actually disagree with this a lot. I think any form of art, you at least have to um, love the, the people who support what you, you make in art. And for example, these game developers, they're making art. And some of them are making quite literally art, but a video game, it, it's its so beautiful. And uh, the community around it is honestly so awesome. Compared to Grotopia, it seems like so many Grotopians are focused on profit and they're focused on standing out in a crowd. And I feel like Pixaliens, they all try to, to, to make something out of themselves and improve themselves. And, and the fact that there's a live stream every week that he can answer your questions and all this it's just so important to the community because you know you're getting straight answers from the team itself and it's so so important to the game and i don't feel like they view us as customers i think that you know most of the things in this game that straight up cost money the slimes coming out the golden earring these are cool utilities but it's not hard to find a replacement if you do a little bit of grinding, you know, pink earring, that gives uh, special speech. Ice gun, you know, the, the clan shields, they cost three world locks, those give three range, you know, are you kidding me? If, if you can't grind enough, and, and you're just gonna hate on the game because you think that they're trying, they're just trying to scam us out of money. It is a mobile game, you know? It, what are they going to do, make a, a game for three years and not have in-app purchases? Obviously, they they care about us, and they want to, um, you know, as players, keep us playing the game. But it's, it's not about money, fully, you know? When someone's making something, uh, like, that they are passionate about, you know... Jake wouldn't be doing videos for three years for this game if he wasn't passionate about its success and its growth, you know? He truly w loves what he's doing. He's said this before. And if you're gonna hide an act... No, let me let me press this... Let me say this proper, okay? As a finishing statement, right? You can't just fake something for three years. You can't pretend that you hate it. He doesn't care about the money, I'm sure. It's not his main motivator. His main motivator is his community and, and the people around this game, and that's so beautiful because, you know, when when there's something motivating you that's not about making money and it's not about, you know, numbers, you know, you can go far with that. You can go so far, and that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry I didn't include them all this video, otherwise this video would be like 30 minutes long because I got so much support and so many opinions and thank you guys so much but if you do have a great opinion or a great unpopular opinion that you want to share below or i didn't mention yours last week go ahead and write it down below and uh i will check it out and maybe it'll be in next week's video so that's all for today guys uh see you guys i have loved the support it means the world to me that you guys are even watching my videos you know i'd be doing this right now even if there's two viewers but the fact that you guys are watching these and saying that you love the videos it's i appreciate it so much and you guys are awesome so have a great day see you guys bye